Hello and welcome to another DK Multimedia Retrospective with me, Bouncy. So, time to look at the remaining two Eyewitness Encyclopedia programs. First up, Science 2.0. <clears throat> So let's see. Hmm. Where to start? How about with this one? Exponentials this is... and logarithms. An exponential mm. expression or function. Hmm. Whatever. Chaos theory. Fractals. Mm. Chaos. Pioneered by meteorologist Edward Lorenz in the 1960s. Chaos theory has revolutionized the study of a range of systems from the motion of a pendulum to population growth and the operation of stock markets. Mm -hmm. Ah, not this again. No, 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 no. Try that again. Okay, let's have a look at the periodic, the periodic table. table. Hmm. Agnes. Problem. Yeah, all sorts of things. Metal. Hmm. Virtual molecules. Molecules. Uh, that must be interesting. Sodium chloride. Ah. Oh. Stop. Hmm. -mm. This is it. Oh, citric acid, sodium, copper. Oh, diamond. Oh, isn't that nice and solid? Lots of carbon closely knit together. When you Earth and the universe. Well, this is basically just. The solar system. The sun. A condensed version of the space encyclopedia, I guess. Mm -hmm. Stars. Mm -hmm. There are. Matter explorer. Hmm. Metal. Oh. This CD ROM, well, I don't actually have a physical CD ROM, but anyway. Mm hmm. CD structure. Spectric. Pits. That represent binary number mapping zones one. Mm-hmm. And what's this here? Oh, video selector. Interesting. Mathematics, physics, chemistry. How about life sciences? What do we have here? Most of I guess these are also kind of a condensed version of the nature and like people anyway. Who's who? Who we have here? Archimedes. Archimedes. Entering Archimedes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now let's do the. Wait, well. Ah. This one has the arrows it's from the first version. Still, the miniature museum, library, or whatever. There. Anyway. Wizmaster. Now, in the first version there hmm, of this program was this was a bit disappointing because it didn't actually ask you questions. It, well, you didn't actually do a quiz; it just asked questions. Do you know this? Find out. In the other two, history and nature, you did get an actual game, but on this one, this in the first version, but there is a game in this version, so. Start a new game. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 
Sounds to some high switch pump. Uh yeah, I'm done with five. Last your fine arm. Ah. Which mathematician carried out significant work on? Ah, uh, I have no idea. Okay. Uh. What type of electric current? Electric current. Alternating current. <laughs> Got one right. Which is the fastest land animal on Earth? Hmm. Cheetah? Yes. Who was the founder of um, Hmm. I see Pascal. Huh. Why are cooking pans made of metal? Metal is good. Instead, metal conducts heat well. A flowering plant to seeds are two parts cold or what? One of cost, die cost. Huh. Like yes. Who discovered the chemical process in which body cells convert food into energy? Yeah. Huh. I'm doing pretty well! When all the forces acting on object are balanced, is that be what? Pretty cool. An equivalent. A particular form of gene is called what? Genotype? It's time so. End of game. Quit the quiz master. Okay, well, that's... That, that, what? <sighs> I told close because... It closed because I told close. Anyway, last up, history of the world. This one is very interesting. See why soon enough. Great intro. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we are at the modern world. Well, modern for the time. Lots of stuff here. Non violent protest. This was where I first found out about Martin Luther King. So. In 1961, protesters in Albany, Georgia, demonstrated against discrimination. They were arrested despite following the principle of non-violence preached by Martin Luther King Jr. <laughs> in Washington on the 28th of August 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. made his famous plea for freedom and equality. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Anyway, what's this here? Wars on television. Uh-huh. Oh. Go for it. In 1990, President Saddam Hussein of Iraq caused a crisis in the Gulf by sending troops to seize Kuwait. The UN protested, but Saddam refused to retreat. On the 17th of January 1991, Allied forces began six weeks of airborne attacks against Iraq's military targets, roads, and factories, using some of the most sophisticated weapons ever devised. Hmm, who would have known that back then that <clears throat> there'd be another war in Iraq? Me, what's this? Spy here? case. Spy case? Culture. Hmm. Ah, so. Well, that's not modern stuff there, but anyway, I'll show you why this program is very interesting. Let's go to a different time period. Aha! See, it's changed. In the first version, it would dim down before on the globe, then light up to reveal everything changed, but here it doesn't. A bit strange. Way. 
Is this here? The Phaistos disc. Hmm. The signs and symbols that run in a spiral on both sides of the Phaistos disc have never been deciphered. Hmm. The symbols on the back of the disc are like those on the front. They appear in groups, separated by a line drawn with a stylus. Each group may represent a word. Some of the symbols look like recognizable objects. Here they resemble a bird, a round shield, and a head with a plume. The significance of the fourth symbol in this selection remains a mystery. Mm, very interesting. How many countries? Three. History quest. Hmm, take a look at that there. Well, let's go to the classical world. Hmm, very interesting stuff here. Vina. Sound of Vina. Hmm. Oh, here's Greek invention. Here's something very interesting. The Greek scientist Hero discovered how to use steam power to make a metal ball spin rapidly. He lit a fire under a sealed cauldron that contained water. Steam formed and rose up through tubes, which supported a pivoting hollow metal ball. The steam escaped through two bent tubes in the ball, causing it to spin around at speed. Hero had converted heat into motion and invented the first steam engine. Yeah, see here, he saw it as nothing but a plaything, but many, many, many centuries later, in the Victorian age, people discovered, hey, wait a moment, this can be used to make energy, power things. <laughs> Imagine how things would have changed if you'd worked that out back then. Anyway, age of great religions. Mm hmm. Stuff here. Age of Conquerors. Mm hmm. Wait. Age of Explorers. Lots of interesting stuff here. What's Benin this? Bronzes. Mm hmm. Wait. Expansion and Trade. Oh, that'd be Blackbeard, Blackbeard. the Pirate. Mm -hmm. Blackbeard deliberately cultivated a frightening appearance. When facing his enemies, mm. he placed lighted fireworks in his hair to terrify them. <laughs> he grew a large black beard, which gave him his nickname. Blackbeard was always heavily armed with various weapons, including several pistols stuck in his belt. Oh, wait, Mom. Go back to Age of Explorers. Something like that. Look at... Hmm... Who's who? Christopher Columbus. Aha! Uh -huh. Christopher Columbus. Young explorer was responsible for breaking European. His long cred being the first European to discover new wealth. But now I believe our explorers have read for him. Mm hmm. See? They conceived the idea of selling, reaching child, was to buy, encouraged by Romans he had heard while well, I was a sailor. Black Pearl at the time agreed that the most world realm, but believed correctly, in fact, that Chow was too far away for a direct voyage. See, Columbus wasn't all he was cracked up to be. Can we expansion and trade? Mm -hmm. Age of Revolution. Guillotine there. Hmm, wait. Something interesting, at least in the first version, I really want to find. Conquerors? No. Yeah. Hmm. Doesn't seem to appear in this, so I didn't have to look it up. Age of Revolution. Yeah. Nations and Empires. Uh huh. Oh. This looks familiar. Totem poles. Some appeared in virtual reality bird. World at war. Hmm. Bolshevik propaganda. Is that, is that there? Anyway, where's the search feature? No, that's options. 
Hmm. Sound index. Uh-huh. Aha. That's Chinese poetry. Now this, I quite like this. In the mountains on a summer day, a poem by Li Po. Gently I stir a white feather fan with open shirt sitting in a green wood. I take off my cap and hang it on a jutting stone. A wind from the pine tree trickles on my bare head. <sighs> so relaxing. Age of Great Religions. Yeah, see, the thing doesn't appear in the background, but it did in the first version. So, those were the Eyewitness Encyclopedia programs. Very interesting stuff. Ethiopian. Such, such a fun way to, to browse information. But, that will do for now. See you all next time. Bye-bye for now. Feistos. Festos. Amazing close-ups. Habitats. Greenwood. Micro. Micro world. Viruses. Mm. Viruses. Uh-huh. Alright.